So let's talk passive income. Passive income is all the rage. There are several companies offering passive income opportunities, including my company, Realty Partners. And um, so I just want to chat about that for a minute. Why is passive income so important? Well, number one, it helps you with the feast and famine of real estate where you always have these ups and downs. When you have a passive income stream, that allows you to kind of flatten that curve a little bit. But the most important part is that if you ever want to be able to exit your business, so to speak, if you ever want to be able to retire from real estate or do something else, having a passive income stream is going to give you that opportunity. And uh, when you get to be a little bit older, it's really more important to create passive income streams than even building assets because you cannot take assets to the bank unless you sell them, but passive income streams are going to generate income on an ongoing basis. So what are the challenges with some passive income schemes offered by companies? So first, first of all, uh, let's look at the two different kind of passive income streams. We have profit sharing and we have revenue sharing. Profit sharing, of course, is predicated on the profit of an office or a company. And as an agent, you really have zero influence on the profitability of a business. And uh, generally speaking, especially if a business is growing, profits are going to be very low. And overall in real estate, profit margins are very, very slim. The second opportunity that is offered is revenue sharing. And revenue sharing obviously is much, much better than profit sharing. The challenge with some companies offering revenue sharing opportunities is that they seem to be so amazing. However, very, very difficult to achieve. So for instance, if a company says, all you have to do is, uh, you know, get 10, 20, 25, 30 people, and then you're going to make all this money. I can tell you right now that maybe one in a thousand agents will ever achieve a benchmark of getting five agents, let alone 10, 15, 20 agents. So be sure to look at the revenue sharing plan of a company and ask yourself, okay, how many agents would I have to refer in order to actually get paid on this plan throughout all the levels where you actually start making some money. And again, most of these plans out there are structured in a way that they seem to be very, very exciting. However, only a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of agents ever is able to achieve these benchmarks and fully profit from these plans. And, um, a shameless plug here for Realty Partners. Realty Partners is a company actually we're in the state of Florida, we're in the process of expanding nationally, where you only need to have two agents to receive revenue sharing on an unlimited number of levels. And even if you just refer one agent, you still get revenue sharing on the person that you refer yourself directly. So if that sounds of interest, please check out my website, thomashyman.com for more information. Revenue sharing and profit sharing are two very attractive and potentially powerful income generators. If you are just getting paid on the transactions that you yourself generate, you're always going to be only as good as your last sale. So if your company offers a revenue sharing plan, yay, that's fantastic. Uh, make sure that it is attainable and not just one of those pie in the sky opportunities that you're just not going to achieve. Um, and if your company does not offer a revenue sharing plan, then I highly recommend you take a look at companies that do, and there are several out there. And again, I work for Realty Partners, so obviously I'm going to promote that. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel, please feel free to direct message me, reach out to me directly. My name is Thomas Hyman with Realty Partners, and I'm here, I'm here to help you succeed and um, hope you found this helpful.